In this video I will place an image inside a crystal ball. First we need to load our image, we go to file. I've got a recent one there, saves me looking around, so I'll click on image, brings it into view. First thing you need to do is go in the layers channel, right click the image and add an alpha channel. Now we go over to filters and we go to distorts, come down to the bottom, whirl and pitch. Now we don't want that type of image so we need to type in zero there. Type in a zero and press enter so you get a better perspective of what's happening. Now we need to change the pitch to a minus so we move that down to minus about 300. Just move that slider up to around about 185 and then click OK. Now we return to filters, distorts once again and apply lens. Now because we made it an alpha channel, the lens effect gives you this little option down here. Make the surroundings transparent. So we click that radio button and then click OK. Now I'll move over to my scale tool, click on that one. Because the image is quite large, it's 4,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels, we we'll click in there and we need to make it around about, just highlight that, 1700. Now it depends on pixels once again, 1700. Depends on the size of your image. And let me click on scale. We go to the move tool and click the radio button, move the active layer, just move it over to around about the centre of that of your layer. We move over the layers channel, right click on it and alpha to selection. Now we make a new layer. Okay, now that takes the that selection with it onto that layer. We swing our colour over to white by those double ended arrows. We go to edit and we stroke that selection with about 10 pixels. Now this depends once again on the size of your image. We we'll click on stroke, go to select and select none. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Now the compass point there gives you an option to move into the area where your circle is. Now it's not very blurred so we move that up to about 20 and then click OK. We can drop the opacity on that layer a fraction down about uh, 80. Right click the top layer and merge down. Now we duplicate that layer. We go to our flip tool over here. We change that to vertical and then flip it over. We go to our move tool and just move that down so that the bottom of that one just almost touches or touches the other one. Now we can see what we're going to be happening in the future. We click in a new layer, click OK. We go over to the colours and click on that one there. Choose a green and I'm going to move that slider right up to the top so I get a, a reasonable pastel type of green. Then click OK. I go to my blend tool and just drag it from the top to the bottom. Now the black is still in the background so it's just what I wanted. Then move that layer down below your other two layers. Return to the top layer, right click on it and add a layer mask. Click OK, we leave it a white full opacity. Now I change my colours back to black and white. Go to the top of the layer there, you can see that type of layer, and just drag it down to the bottom. That gives you a semi type of transparency. So we go over the, over the layers channel once again, right click, and then add layer mask. 
we drop the opacity down so it's not so heavy right click the top we'll right click the top layer and flatten image so there's your uh, image inside a crystal ball you can apply that to many other types of uh, images you could have it sitting in somebody's hand or whatever you like there's a hard copy on the website below and please rate the video